I've rigged this simple circuit up here so that we can measure amperage. So we've got a cordless drill there and the battery for the cordless drill there and in between I've put two wires with two connectors in between. It's essential that you know what you're doing when you're using test equipment and if you're going to use test equipment on mains voltage you're better off leaving it to a professional electrician rather than having a go yourself because it is very dangerous. So I've just rigged this up to show you how to do it on a, an 18 volt setup. This particular meter has a clamp function there and you can actually clamp that over a, a wire but you can't measure voltage by doing that you can only measure the actual lamps that's going through the, the wire. So if you look there I've actually selected AC amps. Now this is a DC amperage setup but it will still work but you'll get an incorrect reading but I'm just going to show you how to measure the actual amps going through. So one thing you should never do is try and measure both of the wires at once because that just won't work they'll just cancel each other out. A lot of people don't realise that you can measure amps on the positive side or on the negative side it doesn't really matter which side you use. So just to prove it I'll just take that over the positive side and this will give us a false reading by the way because this is set to AC amps and we're measuring DC amps. So you can see when you squeeze the trigger the amperage will go up. So I'll just do that on the negative side now. So there you can see when you squeeze the trigger and you start pulling some amps through it it does start giving you a reading although it won't be an accurate reading. So this is the multimeter that I'm going to be using and if you look at it there I've already switched it to the 20 amp mark and also when you're measuring amps we need to put one lead in the 20 amp terminal and one lead in the COM terminal so I'll just do that now. And I'll turn it that way then you can see it. So now if I break into this cable and put the positive from the battery to the positive on the meter and then the comm side to that side going to the drill and I'll switch it on as soon as I squeeze the trigger you can see that it starts to measure the amps and the order I squeeze the trigger, because it's got proportionate control, it starts pulling more amps. And also, if you put the drill under some load by squeezing the choke, it should pull even more amps. And you can see that the amps did go up. So, if we just put this side back now and I'll show you again on the neutral side So again we've broken into the circuit and the meter is now in between the neutral side. So again when we squeeze the trigger you can see that the meter is measuring how many amps are used. And again if we put the machine under a lot of load by squeezing the trigger at the same time you can see that the amps go up. So that's how to measure amps using a multimeter. And again I'd just like to reiterate that 
you shouldn't do this on mains voltage electricity unless you're a professional electrician and you're correctly trained to do so.